keto people. Okay, so I did a couple of videos on Factor. I ended up doing the four meals for $20, I think, promotion. But then after that, you can have six meals for $77 or four meals again for $60. Uh, anyway, so I did a couple of videos on the previous ones. I'm going to continue on with my factor meal reviews and this one is creamy Parmesan chicken. Okay. Uh, I don't know where all factor uh, goes out to, but I know a lot of people have been asking about it. So that's why I got into it. But I will tell you every single one that I've had tastes like it's made by a chef. Okay, so in this creamy Parmesan chicken, you have chicken breast marinated in garlic, onion, and parsley, and chili flakes, and then uh, grilled and placed over some Alfredo sauce. For balance, uh, there's roasted grape tomatoes tossed with lemon, basil, and garlic. And then on the side, there is diced roasted broccoli and chili lime butter. I'm sure that you saw that picture there. Um, I'll show you what how it looked before I put it in the oven. For, it was still kind of frozen. And then after it came out of the oven, and then obviously the picture whenever I plated it, if I did that all correctly. And so I went ahead and chopped up a little bit. And I put some of the Alfredo sauce on the broccoli, but I'm gonna try the broccoli without the Alfredo sauce. But anyway, this is kind of what it looks like. I have not tasted it, but it smells very good. Now, I do my own Alfredo sauce, and I tell you what, even though most of you guys don't appreciate Olive Garden, they have the best Alfredo sauce, and I make a really good keto Alfredo sauce. Although I will admit, most Alfredo sauces are keto, but you just have to take out the flour. Okay, anyway, check it out. All right, guys, here's, I put a little bit of the uh, tomato on there. Once again, let me tell you guys and gals, this tastes like a chef went into my kitchen and made this. Normally, when you hear grilled chicken breast or something like that, you don't expect the taste like this. This, it, like they said, I, didn't, I don't think I went into it, but it said that it was brined and marinated in this sort of garlic, onion, parsley, and I cannot pronounce the name of these chili flakes. It starts with a G. And the roasted grape tomatoes on it are phenomenal. Now, I haven't even tried the broccoli yet. Let me try it without the uh, Alfredo. Looks like. I taste lemon in the broccoli, did it say? No, it says chili lime. That's what it was. Lime juice. I can taste the lime juice. And now I, that I see it was chili lime, I, I, I see that. But let me try it with the Alfredo sauce because I poured some of that stuff on there. Once again, a number one hit. I mean to tell you, normally when I go off a diet and I'm really being bad, I can spend about $150 a week on my Uber Eats stuff. So $77 for six chef meals is fantastic is what I would say. Just to tell you, calories are 670, uh, total fat 49 grams, total carbs 17, so dietary fiber is four. So you're looking at 13 net carbs. Yes, okay. It says it right there, 13 net carbs. Another fantastic meal for Factor. And they, they do keto and low carb as well. I'm telling you, if they ship to your area, give them a shot. They give you a menu ahead of time of what dishes they're gonna be doing. And then you have until Wednesday at midnight to set whatever dishes that you want. Otherwise, they're gonna have a defaulted what dishes uh, 
for your preference, they're gonna default certain ones unless you go in there and switch them around. So by Wednesday midnight, that's when you go on to, I think it's factor 45 or something, it's not just factor, but anyway, you log into that website, go see if those defaulted ones are the ones that you want, uh, and if they're not, you just kind of go in there and you, you know, if you, if you want low calorie one day instead of low carb or keto or whatever, do that. And so that's what you do. You hit save and Wednesday at midnight, that will save. And then the next day or the following day, can't remember, it'll say, uh, thank you. Your order has been shipped and you receive it the following week on Tuesday, I believe. So on Monday or Tuesday, I believe. So just letting you know there that there's about a six, seven day lag time, but between between whenever you order them and uh, whenever they actually come in. I'm starting to really like the six meals a week because I don't have to cook anything. And that also gives me options in the freezer. Matter of fact, I've already placed my order for next week now, although I only did four meals that time because it's getting close to Halloween. And if you guys know me, hmm. <laughs> anyway, okay, when it comes to the rating, and I don't even want to do these ratings anymore because every one of them has just been amazing. So I'm not even gonna rate it. I'm just gonna let y'all know if I liked it or if I didn't. There's, there should be no scale because it's either you do or you don't. These things are so fantastic. Nothing has failed me yet, but there will be one. Anyway, that's all the time I have. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time.